who it is. That so, so first I'd just like to thank our project coordinator, Giselle Foulet. Uh, Giselle is an internationally certified image and personal brand consultant and business administrator with more than 25 years of experience in the corporate world. And she's worked in the fashion and beauty industry with one of the leading companies in Peru. Her experience is in marketing, brand image, strategy design and training for executives, companies and entrepreneurs. She is internationally certified in the storytelling management program and a teacher in image schools and speaker at universities. She's the founder of AIC of Peru and the current president. So even though she's not on our panel, thank you, Giselle. So our first presenter today, I'm sure doesn't need any introduction at all. It's Niha Malhotra, AIC ICIP. And she's the founder of International Image Consulting Institute, founder of the AICI India Delhi chapter, and she served three years as their president. The first image professional from India to be awarded with an international AICI award, the Rising Star, and the holder of the influential Woman of the World Treasure Award 2020 for her mastery and excellence in the field of image consulting in India. She's a keynote speaker, internationally published author and visionary, and is currently appointed as the General Secretary and Treasurer for AICI India Delhi chapter, layout editor in the AICI Global Magazine, VP AICI Business Development Committee, Committee and a VP in the AICI Membership Committee. Our Ooh. second presenter, who also needs no introductions, is Silvia Scaglioni. And she is a distinguished Brazilian trends and fashion business consultant and has been a certified image consultant since 2008. Her extensive professional experience in New York and Sao Paulo has led her to create courses, workshops and lectures for companies and professionals in the industry such as the New York Fashion Tour, Cool Hunting, Trends Workshop, and Image Consulting Advanced Trainings. Sylvia is the co-author of the book, Fashion Your Way, and has been part of the AICI Brazil Board since 2016, and is the current president. Okay, so I know that they're going to be wanting questions, but just for um, the speed, and because they've got so much generous content, I would like it, if you could possibly do it, to leave your questions till the end and we'll take them in the chat. And I'm just going to go through the CEU speech, uh, which is a requirement of anything where you can earn CEUs, and then we can move on. So as an authorised CEU provider, AICI has approved this webcast for 0.1 CEU. Earning CEUs is not a requirement of general membership with AICI. However, if you're currently certified through AICI with CIC, CIP or CIM, then you must earn CEUs to retain certification. If you are working towards certification, taking the CEU approved course will provide proof that you attended this training. Please follow this procedure. At the end of this webcast, a participant training evaluation form will be sent to you. Even if you are not seeking CEUs, please provide feedback for the presenters. You will notice that included in this form are the learning outcomes for the session. And note that you will receive AICI CEUs for this session, even if you indicate that a learning outcome was not successfully achieved. You will also need to add the code word at the top of the evaluation form. The code word will be given at some stage within this webcast. So listen carefully. Please compete and submit the PTE once you've received it. When you earn CEUs, AIC headquarters is notified, your CEU record is updated, and you may request a copy by contacting AICI headquarters. So now I've said all of that, let's get on with the really interesting stuff. So I think, Niha, it's over to you. Thank you so much, Sue, for such a great welcome and introduction. Welcome all to the International Fashion Trends presentation. Uh, each time we come up with our latest trends presentation, this time we're second. Welcome everyone to the Spring Summer 2022 show this time. This is the Fashion Trends AICI webinar organized by the Education Committee this time, and it is sponsored by the Angel Fund. Each time uh, it's presented by 
myself, Neha Malhotra from India, and Silvia Stigliano from Brazil. So without taking much more time, I'm going to begin and talk about our today's session. In today's session, from my side, I will be talking a lot about color trend report. I will bring the, fa uh, the Pantone fashion color, color trends from the London and the uh, New York Fashion Week. And also, I will be showcasing some color, color trends from Indian Fashion Week. We will be talking about the trending styles, makeup trends, and accessories. So today, you'll be getting to know all that you can now experiment with spring, summer is around the corner and we can just redo our wardrobes. Here is a sneak peek into the Pantone Spring Summer 2022 color palette from the New York Fashion Week as well as from the London Fashion Week. Each time I do talk about this that we do see a little difference and variation uh, from in the New York and the London Fashion Week. You can see here the London Fashion Week colors are, are little low intensity colors and the New York Fashion Week colors this time are very vibrant and full of pop. So if you are a person who loves wearing uh, bright colors, this is your season. So according to the fashion stock designers, we are in for a very lemon lime 2022. So green has been one of the most favorite colors of all the designers. Uh, the lime green, saturated yellow, classic Kelly green and sunset um, orange are the trending hues incorporated in the spring summer 2022 runway. So people who are warm, palettes who belong to the warm color season, this is your time to flaunt your best colors. Here again, you can see a little bigger version of the colors, ones which are very famous, which we've seen almost all the designers using these colors in their hues somewhere or the other in their collection. So let me start with the colors. I will give you a sneak peek of all these colors one by one. And we did also see a lot of neon happening this year. So if you are a person who loves that extra intensity in your wardrobe, in your outfits, please go ahead, wear neons, and you can flaunt it in your bags, in your accessories, in your jackets, pants, anything. Everything is trending. So the theme for this time, oh, uh, the fashion uh, runways this time is color me free. So whatever is your choice of color, go ahead, go in the brightest of intensities of that color and you're gonna look great. This is how the engine runway looks like. This is the Lakme India Fashion Week runway. Very colorful, very prop. Uh, we could see a drama of colors happening here. So it's a wonderful uh, creation the designers have done this time. We will be talking about the styles also. To begin with, I'm going to be starting with the color white. We did see a lot of designers using white in their collection uh, in various uh, fabrics, knits, and a lot of organic. So white has been one of the most famous colors. Uh, it is a neutral color, and especially for summers, people love wearing white. Uh, we also notice a lot of net and lace happening uh, around on the runways. You can see various uh, variations of white in, in terms of contrast, in terms of fabric and color accessories. The next color here is lilac. Beautiful combinations of lilac and, and green has been trending this season, this year. We've seen a lot of lilac and green happening. Green being the most uh, common and the most, uh, I can say, popular color. Red never goes out of fashion. And red in the brightest of intensity has been seen on the runways for your evening wear, flaunt your reds. Then comes the hot pink. Pink in the brightest format of neon pink has been trending a lot. You can see a lot of uh, pink with combinations of green. That's another famous, very popular com combination. We did also notice a very, lot of variations of pink in terms of subtle and pastel pinks. So as for your color season, you can choose your pink and pink never goes out of fashion. You can see a lot of uh, color uh, variation in pink. All the designers have made sure that this color is being used. We, next is another light. It's a purple variation of pink. And you can notice the accessories also. And all the trends are the latest trends that, uh, and Sylvia will be talking about in detail about the trends. The next color here is orange. You can see beautiful silhouettes, very exaggerated uh, styles and very summerish, but very high intensity in colors. So orange has another well, been another very popular co color amongst the designers. Then comes the neon green. So this is something different from green. It really, it really creates a focal point if you are a neon lover. All you need to be uh, sure about is if you're wearing neon, you need to keep it as a one focal point. Too many accessories, 
uh, makes too many focal points and it makes it really difficult to identify. So you can see a lot of neon happening around on the runways. Then we have our, again, the most popular color of the season, which is green. Various uh, tones, shades, and tints of green has been seen on the runways. This is the mint green. Then comes a uh, blue color, which has been almost always, um, it is a wardrobe neutral color. People really love flaunting blues in the corporate. Then we have yellow, a little neon tinge to yellow. Going further more of yellow on the runways because warm season, warm colors, uh, colors are in trend this season. We can see the silhouettes and the styles are very summerish, very fl flowy. We did also see pastel colors a lot. I'm wearing a pastel myself, a peach color, which is in trend. Then we have pastel blues, pinks, lilacs, and neutral colors. Very earthy, earthy looking colors are in trend. People love wearing light colors during um, summers. And black, of course, never goes out of fashion. If you, are, if you want to flaunt something for your evening wear, black never goes out of fashion. We did also notice a great combination of the black and white contrast. So this is a wonderful combination of black and white. A lot of designers have come up, they've used black and white in terms of prints, in their styles, with laces, you can see a lot of variation here. Also with one accent color combination, black and white can be a great way to team up your uh, clothing. Then comes the turquoise blue. Do not miss out the wonderful accessories these models are carrying. So you can see the uh, plus size models on the runway. So this season, you can actually use any color as a color pop. There is no restriction on color combinations. You can go bold, then comes violet, which is a deeper tone of uh, lilac. We did see lilac as well. More of violet on the runways. And uh, this is again green and lilac is one of the trending, hot, famous, uh, hot, popular, I can say, the combination. So if you want to try something different, go for lilac and green. Then brown, again, never goes out of fashion. Brown is a neutral color, and it always remains in fashion. If you are a person who is working, who is a professional who has to wear office wear, brown, you can never go wrong with brown. Another important trend that we've seen is metallics, especially gold color, because it's a season for warm. So gold is really trending. Every designer has had something in gold and metallic in their collection. You could wear it uh, in a satin fabric or in a lycra or sheen or velvet. Of course, not velvet in the summer area, but places which are a little colder, velvet goes very well for a little sheen. Now, this is how our Indian Black May India Fashion Week, which happened in March 2022, looked like. It was a bold combination of colors. It is a festival of colors on the runway. You can see every, every designer has showcased amazing colors. I'm going to be talking about a few more colors uh, here. The peach color has been seen a lot in trend on the Indian runways. And this is how the yellow iris color looked like. This is a color which is very neutral, very pastel, and loved by most of the people, easy to carry, and very summerish. India is a very hot country. The northern droplet color is something like a mint green. Many showstoppers, many designers use this particular color for the showstoppers. So it is the color in trend. We can see more of India Fashion Week clothing in the northern droplet color. Then comes the glacier lake, which is a pastel format. So this is the color here, right here. It's the pastel format of blue. So some people even call it powder blue. So powder blue is a color which is in trend from the blue uh, palette, from the cool palette. So spring, summer 2022 is all about sophistication, style, and I don't see my. So it's all about sophistication style and it's a drama of colors. Some of the modern concepts, now the concepts on the runways are changing. We did notice some prominent changes on the spring summer 2022 shows and these concepts are global concepts. In fact, in AICI as well, we do talk a lot about these concepts. So it's nothing new for us, but then yes, this is what we've been seeing globally. Sustainability. Majority designers have been following sustainability. So the design creations have been created with uh, trash to treasure format, you know, creating things from leftovers, leftover fabrics, old fabrics, even newspapers, uh, fox leathers. I don't know whether this leather is real or not, but then it looks like newspaper printed leather and fab organic fabric, recycled material, etc. So sustainability has been one of the major concern of every designer. You can see the leather patches here. 
it is created, these patchworks are created from leftover fabric of their previous collection when they've created beautiful designs. On the engine runway, we did see a lot of sustainability in terms of uh, organic fabric being used, the khadi fabric, which is the cotton, which is created in India. The handbags are cotton, the saris are cotton, even the choker, the neck case, neck piece here is on the fabric. So we did see a lot of sustainability on the engine runways as well. International designers are using more of, um, they're using more of the raw, raw silk, the raw leather, the cotton, which is uh, more knitted, organic fabrics, earthy colors, and majorly the fabric which is recyclable, which can be reused. And uh, reuse, restyle, redesign is the concept which has been used by major designers. The next concept which we do talk a lot about and has become a global concept is inclusivity. We saw all types of models on the runways, be it of any uh, sexual in, uh, inclination, plus size models, uh, any size, you could be any size, any color, any race, you are welcome on the runway. It's not necessarily be that models are size zero anymore. So we also saw a lot of curvy models and uh, we did see a lot of bold uh, moves happening on the runways. So body positivity is the, is the issue which all the international designers have been addressed. Now this is, this is a person who is a gang rape survivor. She's a victim of a gang rape and uh, she, has walked the, she's, uh, she has walked the ramp for one of the Pakistan designers. So the concept of models walking on the ramp is becoming very inclusive. We did see a lot of para models on the wheelchairs and beautiful collections of the designers have been um, showcased by these models. So fashion and designer wear is not limited. It, is, it has become very inclusive. People from all walks of life, all races, all kind of abilities, I would say, I would not say, uh, they are all differently ab abled people are there on the runway. We did see more inclusivity in terms of color and in terms of ability. You can see a beautiful show being presented here with different people and uh, who are differently abled, I would say. We also noticed another uh, welcoming change on the fashion runways is the older aged models, which is a new trend. And it definitely brings in a lot of employment for the older age group. And I also did see a lot of models who were models earlier who left their career have made their comeback on the fashion runways with this inclusivity concept coming into picture. You can see they're flaunting beautiful collections and we also noticed not only women, but even older men have been seen on the runways. I did also notice while doing my research that a lot of plus size men were also a part of the fashion walks. So next concept of the fashion shows that we've noticed is exclusivity. Each designer is striving really hard and to create unique exclusive collections. I could not get my eyes off the Chia Pirelli Hot Couture show in Paris and they created beautiful metal garments. And this collection is a two-go collection. If you can get time, go online and watch the show. It's a wonderful show. You can see the exclusivity in the garments, the intricacy which, with which the uh, outfits are created was amazing. Uh, people are using their creativity to create exclusive designs with whatever is trending. So fringes and feathers are in trend and people have created exclusive collection, which is very eye-catching. We did also notice the exclusivity on the engine runway. This is the designer. His name is Gaurav Gupta. And uh, he he's designed amazing silhouettes. You can see very exaggerated silhouettes. And he's used a fabric pipe uh, kind of a thing, which gives the extension to all these silhouettes. And his collection was all about structured silhouettes and fabrics. So we did see a lot of exclusivity this time happening on the runways. We did notice a technology centric in the world has accepted the virtual reality and so has the runways. Uh, there's a concept in India which was followed during the Lakme India fashion week this time. It's called not the, um, it's the digital, it's the digital show, which is physical plus digital. So the runways were displayed on both the platforms, physical platform as the digital. So it was called the digital platform this time. Uh, we also saw the, the stage 
set up for technology, very technology centric. The models walked like robots. And uh, that was something which was worth noticing. Designers do not let leave any room for creativity. So you can see beautiful designs being created and every designer comes up with a great creativity. Uh, power shoulders uh, has been in trend ever since past one year. And now it's a lot of variations. We see a lot of variations in the shoulder areas in the upper body designing. So you can see it goes to anything. I see a Valentine outfit right here on the left. And uh, we also noticed a lot of fringes uh, in one of the shows where the model was showcasing on a swing. So it was a new creative concept. Then using a lot of organic material and creating their collection and showcasing their creativity. Now talking about certain trends, uh, some paths, some styles which are trending in 2022 spring summer. We noticed a lot of geometrical prints happening. So if you are a person who loves more structured, linear or geometrical styles, please go for it. You can see this uh, particular picture has all the patterns which are geometrical straight lines and all shapes you can see around. So this is in trend this year. We noticed a lot of unmatched skirts and of course quad sets. So it is a contrasting concept of, of uh, having quad sets, but you can even go back to your unmatched skirt. So there is no concept of matching. You can wear what you feel like. Feathers and fringes are in trend. You could go as bold as going in for glitter fringes. We did notice cutouts. We, we spoke about cutouts last season and it's still in trend. So showing a little bit of your skin here and there is in trend. As I said, green is the most popular color for the season. Green is a new black. You can wear any, any format of green with any kind of combination. It is going to look great. I'll be talking a little about trending accessories. We did see a lot of innovation in the headgear. A head accessory has been noticed a lot by a lot of designers that used on their run or on their uh, fashion shows. You can see an umbrella fitted headgear on the ramp for places where, where you know it rains a lot. We also did notice the concept of head wraps. So now this is post-pandemic. People have been very careful now to be exposed themselves to uh, in public. So the head, head wrap concept is coming in a lot. The designer has as big as you can imagine, you can go in for the season, it is in trend. We did notice a lot of uh, chunky gold accessories. If you're a person who loves wearing gold, this is your season. As again, I said, it's the warm color palette, which is trending, gold goes very well with your warm colors. The sunglasses sizes have gone really overboard. So oversized sunglasses in trend. If you have any in the past in your collection, you can flaunt it this season. Coming back to handbags, handbags in oversized are in trend. You, you, the concept of putting everything in your bag is back in style. Top handles are in trend uh, more than the shoulder bag. The top handles are taken priority. Uh, even the mini pouches are in trend. Bucket bags, again, being a top handle bag is trending. We did notice a lot of sculptural shapes, very defined uh, shapes in bags is in trend. So you can find that with all the designer brands, they have it. You can see beautiful small bags, but very, very structured bags. Neon colors are in trend, handbags, accessories, footwear, whatever you like, you can flaunt your neons in that. You can see the trending uh, shoes. We notice a lot of triangular heel coming in trend. So this is the latest footwear trend. If you can find one, they come for yourself. Over the knee high boots have been used by all the designers to showcase their collection. Now the trend for this year's heels is ultra high platforms, not the pencil heels. So if you are a person who can carry high platforms then this season you can get, you can go as high as you like. We also saw a lot of comfort people getting out of home for work post pandemic are used to the comfort of home. So high school flat loafers are in trend, very flat, very comfortable. Ballerinas never go out of fashion. You can flaunt them with your any outfit and it goes really well. The, the style which is coming back in trend is gladiators, the tie-ups. Again, fuzzy, fringy and furry footwear. Keeping the comfort in mind is in trend. I'll be talking now about the makeup trends for spring, summer 2022. So green is in trend. If you are a person who loves green, you can go bold and very bold with your green eye makeup, keeping your lip 
uh, your lipstick subtle, your blush subtle, but you can go really bold on the eyes. Glitters are still in trend. They were in trend last year. They are still in trend. And if you are a person who can go really bold, try green glitters. It's going to look great. And we did notice a lot of foil. Uh, the sheen makeup is in. So if you are a person, if you can, you can uh, find a tutorial for unicorn color makeup, that is in trend. So do try that. You can uh, check out some videos on YouTube. Soft pastel lip colors is back in trend. Rather than going very bold, the, the winter makeup was pretty bold and dark. So in summers this year, it's back soft and pastel colors. Dramatic eyeliners, again, never go, they don't leave any room to go out of fashion. So if it's an evening wear and you really want to flaunt your style, you can go really overboard with your uh, eye, uh, eye makeup. This is a new trend that I have seen while doing my research. Freckles, people have started flaunting their freckles. So And they, they, they especially make it with uh, contouring. Uh, pens. So it is a trend, and if you if you are someone who has freckles, feel free to flaunt it. It looks great. Soft contouring. Now, last last year we had a lot of deep contouring for blush, so that's not in trend now. Now the contouring has to be soft and more natural looking blush. Metallic makeup and metallic blush is in trend. So try these. Uh, you can use your highlighters. You have a lot of those highlighters, pink and peach. You can use and you can create a look like this. Very easy to create. Even in the eye eyeshadows, we see that the, the end contouring that we used to do earlier is now dis disappearing. So no contouring, just one color eyeshadow will do the job. And we did notice a lot of floral happening. So this season is all about floral, butterflies, etc. So we do see a lot of pink and peach happening in makeup and accessories. Now I'm going to be talking about the hairstyles. Bangs are back in fashion. So I already got my bangs done. So bangs are in fashion. They are back in trend. People who are blessed with a little wider forehead can go in for bangs. Any kind of bangs are in. If you love to get a haircut done, go in for layers. So layers in any length of hair will look great. Whether you have short hair, medium length, Long hair, any hair color, layers are going to look great on you. The next trend is ultra short. If you do not like carrying length, then you can go as short as you like, and that's trending. That's all from my side today. Thank you very much. I really hope you enjoyed the session and the information I shared. Please follow me on Instagram, and in case you have any more questions, you can get in touch with me on my email address. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neha. Thank you very much. Um, and I think before we hand over to Sylvia, let me just give you the code word. OK, so the code word is fashion. The code word is fashion. OK, over to you, Sylvia. OK, thank you so much, Neha. It was a beautiful presentation. And thank you, Sue, uh, and everyone that is here, Lillian. Uh, so it's always good to remind guys that we are talking about the fashion trends for spring summer 2022. The collections that are going in the stores right now for the North Hemisphere, the, those fashion shows happened last September, okay? Uh, can you see my screen? Is that, can you hear me okay? Okay, thank you. So the main themes, I always like to bring the main message of the, the season. So after months of isolation, everyone was hungry to new, for new flashy clothes that expressed their newfound social freedom. New York Fashion Week's sensuality were perhaps the most common observation among viewers, a classic place of art imitating life, not the other way around, uh, as behavior trends are, this of fashion. There was a um, strong message coming from the fashion industry right now, around confidence, positivity, positivity, body inclusivity. And I think this is definitely paving the way for customers who feel good in their clothes uh, they wear. Lisa Aiken from Memo Marcos, okay? So the main message here, the main new thing that happened in the season was the new sensuality. People want to show their bodies. It, it doesn't matter if they are 20 or 70 whether they are size X or extra, extra large. They want to feel good about themselves. So everything comes back. You guys all know that fashion, sometimes it's a comeback from other um, decades. 
but always they come back different. So the sensuality that is, we're showing right now is different because it's something that everybody can wear. It doesn't depend on the age or the body shape or anything, okay? So the daughter Beckham brought a lot of new sensuality showing uh, the back and showing more the skin with these beautiful dresses. David Coma, very short, 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 very mini um, uh, skirt. Uh, it doesn't mean that you guys have to wear, not everybody wants to wear that, but this it, it's a message that people want to show more their skin, okay? It's a great season for the sexy style. So if you have any sex style clients, it's a great season for them. Um, very short skin, very small uh, clothes. And I saw um, a report uh, on New York Times saying that this summer in New York, the last summer in New York was the summer of love, the summer of sex. Kept, everybody was showing skin, show, uh, wearing um, actual and literally uh, underwear in the streets. And I saw this and a lot of people that I know was talking about this. And I can see that in Brazil as well. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to wear like this, but it, it's a message that you, you can show more skin and that's okay. The other um, thing, the big thing of the season is the white 2 k the, the fashion inspired by um, the 20 to 2000 yeah, and from 2000 to 2010. Uh, so the low rise, the mini skirts, all the, and the belly button showing, it's, it, I think it's a, a lot of people doesn't like it, but nowadays the most important trend is the freedom. You can wear whatever you want. So you have you no know, all types of uh, spans, low rise, high rise, high waist, low waist, and everything. Okay, but it's a match. That it, maybe it's a comeback of the um, the low rise pants, like in Sony, Etro, but you also see other kinds of pants. Okay. Uh, another thing, very important thing, as Nina said, the sustainability, but more into the social sustainability, the social part of the sustainability. To be, to be able to create such a desirable pieces and to, at the same time, empower others is a, probably the, one of the most, uh, one of the experiences that bring more satisfaction. Gabriela Hurst, who's a very nice designer for sustainability. So, um, it's very important, not only the fabric, the material that you're using, but also who is making the clothes um, and empower those people, okay? Another important thing is the activism. It's growing and growing because of the new generation. So as this thing that happened during the Louis um, Vuitton Paris Fashion Week was very, you know, a lot of people was talking about it, okay? Now let's talk a little bit of, about fabrics. The knit is the most important fabric of the season of the year, maybe of the last two years, actually, because during the pandemic, everybody learned how to dress more with more comfortable clothes. Uh, the feeling of the touch and uh, it's a nice fabric because it doesn't get wrinkled. You can work from home, you can go outside, you can go to the supermarket, you can do everything wearing knit. And you have so many types. It doesn't I mean that it's only for the fall winter season also it's very good for spring summer because it's breathable um you can depending of on the uh, on the fiber uh so press school jason wu victor uh, jason wu a, a lot of designers was doing the the comfortable dress the neat dress um blue marine Marnie, just under so i like i love this one this last one from number 21 Philippe Lin and so many designers did the knit. And the crochet. The crochet is the most important also because especially for like tropical countries here in Brazil, at least was like uh, the summer of the crochet uh, for many, many reasons. One of the reasons is that you can do by yourself <laughs> at home. Since we are living now a very lack of uh, fabrics, a very problem with the, the um, uh, you know, to getting fabrics from all, all over the world that we used to do. Um, the, the sourcing, we're having a lot of problems with sourcing fashion right now. So people are doing, doing their own fabric. And also the knit is very beautiful. It's handmade. Everything that's handmade or looks like handmade, it's very important. 
So it's very interesting. Uh, many fringes with crochet, like here, about the hedge, dots, uh, with etro is very, very interesting pieces. It looks like a hippie or handmade. And this picture for me ex explains why also crochet is very in right now. This guy, Tom Bailey, um, was doing crochet before the competition to count down because crochet also is good for mental health. If you do yourself, um, it's a way of coming down and, you know, and uh, concentrating more for uh, whatever you have to do, okay? Uh, the fringe is very important also. The fringe uh, means women's freedom from the 20s, 1920s, so it's a comeback. Uh, all kinds of fringe, everything that moves when you walk, it's so beautiful. Like here, Alexander McQueen, Chloe, um, it, it can be for a party or for a summer dress. Uh, sometimes it looks more a party dress or more sustainable uh, materials like here, Easy Factory and Chloe. All body shapes, it's a must nowadays, all, all ages. We can see also in the catwalk, usually. Uh, also, the feathers, for the same reason, is something that moves, so creates a sense of uh, comfortable feeling of um, freedom. Uh, also, here, more feathers, you know, all types in the shoes, in the sleeves, for the bags. And... The transparency, transparency, the see-through fabrics, the, this kind of fabric that you can do layers. It's very interesting. Uh, it's good for summertime because it's breathable for party, for you know, for everything, and also it's it's also sens sensual. You can show a little bit of sensuality that I mentioned to you before. Fendi number twenty-one, Alberta Ferretti, Blue Marine, the Square, Versace, Emily Pucci. So. Um, so many kinds of see-through fabrics, okay? The shiny fabrics is also mean. Uh, people are so crazy to go to a party, I think. So that's maybe, that's why people are, you know, looking to these nowadays, uh, more shiny beadings or um, metal. And I, we, we all know that color and the shiny colors makes you feel better sometimes. Uh, especially at this moment that we went through with a lot of mental health problems. So the shiny, the, it brings you a lot of energy. And some people also say that it comes from the screen. It, it's in the screen of the computer and the cell phone. You know, this kind of shiny surface uh, looks like the screen. And Tom Ford, Kate, Michael Kors, many designers made this, uh, these beatings and uh, this finishing, um, which is very beautiful. The prints. It's not a good season for prints. Uh, I think people prefer nowadays solid colors. They prefer more like uh, monochromatic rather than print. But it, we always have floral. Floral prints are is a must for the season for spring, summer. Uh, and the checkbox also. Uh, a lot of designers brought the checkboard. Um, it's, in, you know, it's interesting. It can look summery also, depending on the color, be, be, uh, depending on the shape. So we've got a Beckham made, M, M, MSGM, Magella, uh, and the stripes. The stripes uh, is a print you can wear your whole life for the, the all, all year uh, long. So it's a, regarding sustainability, it's, some, it's the print that you don't have to worry too much about. It's always in fashion, especially the black and white. You can wear for your whole life. Uh, so that's the reason that I see for prints. Um, polka dots also. Some designers brought the polka dots. It's also classic um, print. And the butterfly. The butterfly bring, it's come, it's a coming back from the 20s. That which we saw at that time a lot of butterfly all over. So we can see some butterfly for Chanel, for Blue Marine, and the mushrooms. It's a very interesting. Stella McCartney show rooted in the powerful no notion that mushrooms are the future of fashion. It also included synth synthesizer music created by recording the sounds of mushroom cultivation. They 
form communities survive and thrive in difficult environments and are the source of livelihood. Plus, they are root systems from the raw material for substitute leather. So we're talking, designers are talking a lot about mushrooms. Uh, we'll see what, what's going on and what, what will happen. Stella McCarthy developed this leather from mushrooms uh, because it, it, leather is a problem right now. You can't wear the, the real leather, but the fake leather is also no good. So we'll see, maybe there is a solution here. And the prints also inspired by mushrooms. And there is another print that I, I myself called cloud. It looks like a cloud, not only for prints, but for shapes too, like a Alexander McQueen. It's a, it's a tie-dye kind of print, but not the old tie-dye, the, the tie-dye from the 70s. It's another uh, type of tie-dye, okay? In my opinion, this look like clouds. And here, the poems also brought a lot of this you know, notion of clouds. Uh, and the playful, oh, some, some designers brought this playful kind um, of prints, like Junior Watanabe, AZ Factory, um, uh, and Fendi, okay? So now let's talk a little bit about shapes. Uh, this back to the office kind of shape, which is um, tailoring, blazers, trousers, uh, that looks like you're going back to work. People are crazy to go back to, not everybody, but some of them, to go back to the office. And it's a question I see by my clients. They have so many questions. Oh, should I wear whatever I was wearing at home? Or should I go back to the suit? What are you supposed to wear now? I have two years at home. So it's a question that is going on right now, but uh, a lot of designers brought some, some, you know, some ideas, but definitely the tailoring is very important, uh, especially those ones with um, comfortable shoes with tennis and sandals and sneakers. The blazer is a very important piece for the same reason. You can wear anything in the bottom, but the blazer makes you feel more powerful, especially for the meetings, the, the Zoom meetings and everything. The oversized blazers um, also is, um, is a very important for the season, like Erden, Labrun, and uh, the coordinated sets. Coordinated sets is the, like the match-matching shorts and, and tops, the, 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 you know, the, the skin and the top, the pants with the blazer. It's, it's a comeback from the, the 20, the 2000 also. Uh, it's easy because you, have, you don't have to worry too much how to match things in your wardrobe. Um, so you can see so many coordinated sets. Sometimes it's look a little bit boring, but I think it, it's easy for most of the people that have difficulties of making combinations. Um, more coordinated sets of all kinds of materials, all kinds of fabrics, like the Carolina Herrera, Peter Duot, Altuzaha, Moschino, and the mini skirt. The mini skirt, I would like to know if you guys, please write down in the chat box, if you guys can see people wearing mini skirts in your country. Even I, uh, living in Brazil, which is a very tropical country, uh, I can't not see that much, but I would love to hear from you guys if you can see that in your country, okay? Because only if you see in the street, you can um, prove that it's a trend. If you see only in the fashion shows in the catwalk, it's not a trend. So let me know in the chat box if you can see mini skirts. Not really. Okay, Switzerland is very conservative. Okay, for China. So it all kinds of mini skirts, very mini, uh, low rise, high high waist, uh, only at night. Then is okay, great. Um, here is very very mini and low waist. I think it's. I'm not sure if people are gonna wear this. We'll see. Uh, maybe with uh, socks, with hosiery um, for the winter. I live in New York City, but I just can't see this one in suburban New Jersey unless you buy 18 to every years old. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, and another thing is the bubble hand. The bubble hand is, is from the 80s. It's, a, it's coming back from the 80s, but in a different way because everything comes back, but differently. So uh, please let me know also in the chat box if you can see bubble hand, this kind of skirts in your in your country. It's a very bubble shape also for like this from Adam Lips. 
And I love this green one, as Nina said, it's a beautiful color for the season. Uh, the first one, I think it's more beautiful. Um, here, Prabal Gurun also did, Jason Wu, Carolina Herrera. Uh, I don't see that much also in Brazil. There's some trends that I see, but some I, I'm, I usually, I'm not actually seeing. The low waist also, <laughs> as I mentioned before, uh, belly button showing, so many designers brought this. I'm not sure if people gonna, you know, it's it's gonna work for the women of today. Uh, but you know, it, the fashion always bring newness. Uh, sometimes people are just, you know, uh, used to the high waist. But the thing is, we have everything for everybody. Oh my God, I'm out of the bubble hand in the 80s. Yes, Ollie, <laughs> it's a comeback. Uh, and the the low rise, the low waist. I don't see I I don't see that much in Brazil uh, unless the very very young generation with but not the skinny pants the pant, the low rise with um, like more volume kind of of pants. Uh, if you guys are seeing your country, please let me know because I don't see that much here in Brazil in the streets so far. Um, please let me know. Uh, straps also it, it looks like uh, underwear it looks like you know as I said in the, in the beginning uh, it looks like um, uh, bra and, and you know so but a lot of like self-portrait a lot of brands brought these all these stripes uh, all over uh, making layers um, like these and the cropped tops Alison said that's a um, new new skirt style yes popular with celebrities yes it's popular with celebrities but i don't see in the streets i used to wear when i was 15 yes face um okay so the cropped top it's this one i can see okay i'm not sure if you guys can see but i see in the streets in brazil already this kind of cropped tops sometimes not as you know not too short uh, showing it just a little bit of the belly sometimes with um you know with high waist pants or high waist um, skirts, um, with blazer over it, I that I can see a lot. Please let me know if you can see in your country. Um, here also all types of profit tops, uh, especially these um, um, cross around the neck. Uh, it's a very you know big style, very important profit for the season. Yes, in India too. Yes, crop tops in Switzerland. Okay, that's good to know, guys. So important to know that in Canada it's freezing. Okay, I know. <laughs> well, so this kind of crop tops, you know, all types. Um, this this one for boomerang that looks like a butterfly, flowers. Um, it's something very, very important. The image that um, that begins with, that began with this trend, do you remember Kate Holmes, that image from Kate Holmes wearing a neat uh, bra with a sweater over it? That was very important for this trend. Uh, it, it happens, I guess, in 2019. So, and people also can wear the crop top over the blazer, over the shirt. And it's, you know, you can wear during the winter time, fall, or if you don't want to show your belly button, your, your skin, okay? Uh, in Peru too, in India too, uh, we need to unite, prevent, and always return. Yes, Faye, that's true. Uh, more cropped tops is something that we like went viral. <laughs> Everybody, you know, so many designers made it. Uh, for me, everything that goes viral is very, you know, you have to be a little bit careful to not, you know, spend your money with something that you will see all over the place. You have to be careful. Also, the bundle top. The bundle top is only this kind of stripe. Uh, also, some designers like Sport Max and Max Mara made it. Okay, and even Lacoste, which is a sport, more like a sportwear brand, also did. The cutout is also all over the place here in Brazil. I'm not sure in your country. Uh, in Argentina, only teenagers. You can see, okay. Uh, fed, yes, Nina. When you see all over the place, it's a fed. Fed is a trend that goes uh, in very, very fast and goes out very fast. So it's very important to be careful with your clients. Don't you know, go buy, no go. Uh, this, just try not to buy and to wait a little bit because 
sometimes you can get used to and you know you, you everybody's wearing so you just get used to get used to very fast um i love cut out too karina cut out in australia okay yes me too i can see a lot in brazil i think it's nice depending on the dress this first the dress here from friends is cooler it's very interesting because it's asymmetric it, it shows a, just a little bit of the skin not too much this one's from the Victoria Beckham also is very beautiful, very, very clean, but you have to be a little bit careful because it's a trend that it's all over the place. So just be careful, careful okay? More cutouts, more and more, even for, for you know, for needs, for, but the bodysuit also is very in for the blazers and here. Um, so, and you can do the cutout also doing layers like this from Nina Hitchi, which is very beautiful. I like it that very much. Um, more cutouts, it's white dresses, it's just too much. I think it's, you know, have to a little to be careful, okay? The bodysuit, as I mentioned before, it's very in. You can wear, you know, for the, the, the beach, you, you also can wear with pants. The slit, I think the slit is, is, is a new thing that is coming back for the season even um, mainly because of this new sensuality that I mentioned, uh, and the corset, okay? The corset over the, you know, the denim and over things, and this kind of a corset which is more casual. The trench coats is also, it's, there's all types of trench coats. You can see so many designers like Kate, Peter Du, Carlos Mejera brought new types and new kind of um, trench coats, okay? Also the capes, the capes is like a superwoman. Uh, you can wear uh, like dress capes or cape like coat uh, and the draped, all draped styles is also very, very in. Um, it look, looks like a Greek uh, style. And the pants, the, the like it's, it's still low rise, but it's more, you know, there is more volume and also the 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 high waist so don't be don't be very worried fit you will also have you still have the, the the high rise i think we this is a very important for the women of nowadays they don't want to show too much they want to feel comfortable about uh, their bodies so a little bit of accessories the um, the belts are very in all kinds of belts you can see the gloves, it's, it's my, oh my God, all, so many designers bring the, the gloves, even for the spring, summer. Uh, I'm not sure if people are gonna wear this. I, know, I don't know your country, it's, it's you know winter time, I, I'm sure, but so many colorful and new materials, clothes. The hats, uh, also it's a comeback, all types of hats. And the jewelry, I can see jewelry, more kind of vintage jewelry. Uh, so gets inspired off by that from Erden, you can wear, you know, uh, different kinds of, you know, earrings, uh, big earrings also, the big bracelets, very statement pieces, and this kind of jewelry with stones, the colorful stones also is a trend. The socks, no, socks, I don't see that in Brazil. I've been seeing a lot of socks uh, with sandals, with shoes, in the runaway, in the catwalk, but I don't see in the streets at all. I'm not sure in our country. So we have to be careful because the trend is not the same for everybody. It's not the same for every, you know, for every country. And everything that is nature, natural, mater natural materials, uh, handmade, everything like this is very, you know, like the crochet for shoes, the crochet for the, for the bags, um, the glasses, colorful glasses, is also, um, it, we saw a lot in the, in the catwalk and those kind of glasses. The utility for, for accessories also is very important. Uh, utility here again, very useful and, and practical kinds of accessories, okay? And to finish, the venues and presentations formats express a desire of freedom to sum up the anger and the love, the happiness and the loss and all that all the vivid emotions of the last 18 months. The responsibility fell on fluidity and escapism. A lanva that resonates with the 2020s to the same degree that lanva defined the 1920s, a dialogue between the past and the future, the business of fashion. Jonathan Anderson said he felt a new era of body confidence 
he reduced the volume of his signature to a chic dress shirt silhouette, especially to this, this is who I am, this is my body, and I will show it, generation. How the leading designers threw caution to the wind and created clothing that will become a document of the, of the era, okay? So I think this is the most important message. This is my content. If you guys want to, you know, follow me or write me with any questions, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Niha. Um, I think we'll all agree that all of that was fascinating. I was in London a couple of days ago, actually, and I saw the architectural shoes. Uh, I saw platform shoes. I saw mini skirts. I saw balloon skirts. I saw low waisted. I saw all of those. But I think Niha had the best one for me, which was the flat, fuzzy, furry shoes. I think that's my option because I want comfort. <laughs> I think that's where I'll be staying. Um, so anyway, great presentation. Um, now is the time. If any of you have any questions that you could put them into the chat box. I think that they've done such a good job. You may don't have any questions, but if you do, could you put them in now? I'm seeing lots of nice comments. I'm not seeing any questions. So maybe the two of you have answered everything you need to do. It was very generous. Thank you. There's some lovely comments coming up, ladies. I hope you're reading them. <laughs> Fabulous. I don't think there's any questions. So in that case, um, I am just going to say on behalf of everybody, thank you to Sylvia and Niha and Giselle and everybody else that I haven't mentioned that I know always puts a lot of effort into marketing this and doing all the extra work as well. So thank you. And we shall look forward to the next one in the fall. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. See you in November. <laughs> See you in November, thank you. Nina. Yes, in November. You. See you in November. Thank you, bye-bye.